So I'm here with Dan Knowlton at IO Graft. Uh, this is a new cutting edge way of doing node based programming and I'm going to ask him to explain it right now on A Cup of Joe. Hi, I'm Dan. Yeah, so what we've built is a general app agnostic programming framework to visually represent workflows. Uh, so really trying to increase the efficiency of any process that you might do. So really tedious tasks or things that are eating up a lot of your time in manual that you could automate, making that as easy as possible. Um, we go cross applications, so imagine starting out in Maya and then sending your data seamlessly to Houdini or Unreal Engine and kind of being able to visualize that process without any issues at all. Great. Well, it's real loud in here, so why don't we go someplace quieter and do a little demo of the product? Okay. Sounds great. great. All right, thanks. Well, Dan, Dan Knowlton, Brian Trowbridge, thanks for joining me here on Cup of Joe. Um, now we're in a place that's a little more quieter than the floor, so this might give us a good opportunity to go deeper into what Dan was talking about, introducing your product. Um, hope you guys had a good sea graph. I know I did. Um, uh, I guess uh, I'd like you guys, before we jump into this, I know you guys both met at ILM and you come from your, the days of ILM, but I'd like to hear a little bit more about each of your backgrounds. So maybe we'll start with you, Dan, if you could tell us a little bit about your background. Sure. Yeah. So I studied in college. I was doing computer graphics um, and computer science, um, ended up at ILM, um, starting as a TA doing render farm management at night on the night shift, um, then moved from there onto the pipeline engineering team at ILM. Um, that's where I met Brian, actually. and Kind of where a lot of our ideas of how can we structure a pipeline better and how can we start to really um, make it more efficient and make it more accessible to artists and anyone who wants to automate something in their pipeline cool and brian tell us about yourself well um i started actually with an economics degree a long ago before uh, the internet and then um i moved on uh through kind of a uh, different career path until I, I fell in love with kind of uh, visual and kind of game programming. And I started that in 2005 and I found myself at ILM um, and I met Dan and really one of my biggest, my biggest kind of um, focuses has always been kind of efficiency and really trying to make um, things easier. Hey, all about efficiency. I, I get that. And the great deal of the videos I put on this channel have been about render efficiencies and being as efficient as you can with the resources you've been given and, and all of those uh, types of ideas. So that's great. I'm sure um, the the members of this channel are going to love to hear what you have to say. So when I was on the Seagraph floor, I saw that a lot of people had interest in, in your guys' product, that you have this new product on the the market called IOGraft, if I remember correctly. And so uh, Dan gave a little bit of an introduction there on the floor about it. But I thought maybe, Brian, you could do a little deeper dive and give us a little demo and explain to everyone what it is and how it might help your um, everyday artist or programmer. Sure. Absolutely. Um, so I, you know, IOGRAFT is uh, for us. It's kind of like the tool that we we kind of wish we had um, before at, at ILM. Um, on, on the other hand, it's also kind of a general. It's a very general uh, tool to really help um, automate things fairly easily. Uh, one of the things that um, I realized working on pipeline development was that uh, there really wasn't a tool I felt that um, could really uh, help the pipeline TDs and, and other people in that area or, or even artists um, quickly kind of like, you know, get things connected. So let me, let me, um, let me actually, actually show you uh, iGraft in action. Uh, That'd be great. And, and, and... Uh, yeah, there we go. So I can see your screen now. Yep. All right. So uh, what I'd like to show you is um, is iGraft running within another application. Uh, I just want to point out that iGraft uh, is is can be run uh, from multiple places, um, but in this particular case, I'm going to be running uh, running an iGraft graph within um, within Maya. Uh, so let me let me open this up. And as I mentioned about this idea of uh, cross-application processing. I think it's really important um, and really helpful that I, IAGRAFT can 
provide you with this uh, ability to kind of create an overall process that's going to you know cross multiple multiple applications. And in this this example, I'm just going to start in Maya, and I'm actually going to bring in a Maya scene, and I'm going to export it um, as an OBJ here, and I'm then going to bring it into Houdini. I'm going to do a poly reduction in Houdini, and uh, and I'm actually going to bring that reduced model out from Maya uh, to an FBX and then uh, into Unreal, sure. just just to kind of show like this idea of, again, connecting this whole processing graph uh, th through these different um, different applications. So yeah, it's great to include it in Unreal too, because I mean, Unreal is a big part of the real life pipeline that everyone's having to integrate right now. Everyone's taking all their work and, and now sending it to Unreal, which is something they weren't doing uh, just a couple of years ago. So that's great to include that example. Right, right. And, and, and I think one thing I want to point out here is IAGRAFT is, again, it's, it's in a sense very um, flexible in, this, in that these nodes can really represent any Python, any Python that you can come up with. So in, in our particular case, or in this particular case, I'm running Maya through Houdini all the way to Unreal. They all have a Python interface. So I just want to point out that um, that's... Uh, helpful so let me go ahead and run this and uh this is the stanford armadillo uh very high res and in this case i want to bring it into my game so i've now done this down resing um and you can see in a sense what's happening is it's running through that houdini process of doing the poly reduce bringing it back into maya the obj and then finally it's going to um show up here huh. in the unreal engine so we think this is a good example just a good illustration of of how um iograph can help really run across these different applications and really provide you kind of an easy way to to connect them and honestly, with pipeline work, uh, connecting and gluing things together is really a really key element. So, um, again, yeah, that's that, yeah. that 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 seems like you patch all together, and, and this is essentially running through each of these programs. So even though you're running it from Maya, effectively those processes were running through each of those other programs, right? They were all uh, each each application was getting called up, and the script was running through that, and then moving on to the next one, right? And that's absolutely, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and and really our our approach to, to handling these different um, these different kind of uh, Python environments. Uh, it could be an application like Houdini. Um, and in this sense, um, I'm just going to dive down into this graph, which was actually going into this node, this node here. I'm oops, sorry, excuse me. I'm diving down into this node. Um, the idea here is that we're actually setting a different environment. So IGRAF, IOGRAFT handles, not only handles the environment, uh, uh, kind of the handling of the environment that it's going to be executing in, um, but it makes sure that it's running in the right process, running in a separate process so that it's doing what it needs to do. Um, and it's fairly easy to set up these different environments and integrations. I mean, iGraft provides all that. Yeah, I'll just kind of reiterate this point. So it's something where an average artist, um, average studio is working in tons of different software packages using different tools for different use cases, um, really mixing and matching. And artists are going between every day, multiple times working where it makes sense. So with IOGRAFT, really one of our big goals is to make it so across all those applications that an artist or team might be using, um, how can we automate a process that spans all of those, those workflows and makes it more seamless? So you don't have to necessarily pick and choose um, and have a big struggle to go from say Maya into Houdini into Unreal, um, you can work where it makes sense um, for what you're trying to do. So if, if Houdini has the, the poly reduce tool that makes the most sense and it's the most powerful, you can integrate that with a Maya workflow and an Unreal workflow and kind of with IOGRAPH make it a seamless connection. Wow, great. great. An initial customer base for this seems to me right off the bat is the people who are kind of generalists working in multiple applications, maybe the medium, the small uh, organizations where people put on multiple hats. You know, we know, of course, that the much larger organizations kind of each 
many times each person just wears their one hat. And a lot of times in the medium and small organizations, you have to really be agile and move between the applications. It seems like this would really help push that along. So am I right in thinking that a great target for this product would be you know, either independent, smaller, or medium ones? Or you guys really feel that this would also apply to the larger shops as well? I'd love to hear the contrast of those two. Um, uh, well, my my answer to that is I think it I think it could apply to both. I really do. I mean, I I definitely feel like when um, we created this tool, we were trying to solve a lot of different problems um, that related to both just a technical artist that needed to do something quickly, and also to kind of an overall kind of automation system that would help kind of in a bigger sense. We weren't trying to set out to do something like big that would just be like running your whole pipeline kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I really do think that uh, IroGraft is that kind of solution that fits into different places. It's it's really flexible. It could give you benefits right off the bat, um, just automating some simple things, just some file things. And then it can also, because every node, a node can do all kinds of whatever Python can do, um, you can get into more complicated situations and you could expand it, scale it up. And, and we're, we're working on making sure that it can scale properly. And I imagine if one of the larger um, groups want to talk with you, you guys could work with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis to make sure it fits into their pipeline as they see fit. So um, uh, if people want to reach out to you guys and learn more about it, um, what's the best path to uh, obtaining a license, getting in touch with you folks? What, how, do, how do people get this into their hands? Uh, Iograft.com. Iograft. Iograft. That's with FT. Not iograph. It's iograph with an ft. Iograph. We'll certainly put a link in the com. description as well to that. Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. But but seriously, we we. It's are really, they able to download a license uh, to to try it kind of thing? Yes. Like, can they try it for Af free or just check it out? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Trial is available on our website. Um, we really want people to just give it give it a a spin, and we have Discord. Uh, and forums. Uh, our Discord is growing. We're, you know, we're still kind of early, but Discord is growing, and we really hope people will join. And uh, you know, it's it's all about kind of like what can I do with this tool that will process any Python that I want, kind of thing. You know, Python's pretty amazing. It it really covers a lot of things. So. Well, if, if you're interested in this, you know, obviously download it and jump into the Discord. I think it's, I find repeatedly that folks who design um, systems for visual effects and animation deploy them only to find some next generation or someone else applying it in some way that they never even imagined, right, when they created it. And I'm really hoping to see what those, 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 sparks start coming out of your discord, right? Where you guys are like, that's a great idea. And, and I'm so glad you're applying it there. Right. Because there's a lot of, a lot of out, the, out of the box thinkers in our, in our visual effects animation um, community, right. Who are always trying to think about how to, you know, take this hammer and get that screw in further. And, you know, and it's like, wow, you can do that with the back of the hammer, like whatever it is, you, you just, you always find these new ways. And, and I can't wait to hear and watch on the discord, what um, type of, uh, ideas are coming out what kind of questions people are asking allow you to dive in and maybe the next generation next next iteration right we'll have these cool user inputs from those people giving you direct input in this discord so if you like the product um, or if you see want to see something that it's not doing make sure you mention it to the discord in the discord team i'm sure you'll get direct interactive mm -hmm. response from the developers uh, who will probably want to know more and get you involved in the yeah. conversation about it yeah, absolutely. And maybe one of the most more important things to mention is that with IOGRAPT, it's a, you know, it's this, it's this execution tool that's going to do this automation for you, but the actual functionality is all based on the nodes. And we want to develop as many nodes as we can to help people. And we have a lot of integrations already available publicly to anybody who, you know, subscribes to IOGRAPT. So uh, we want to build up new integrations and find out what nodes people need like that's what our big thing at SIGGRAPH was was like what nodes do you need because you know we want to help and we want to share that stuff i mean that's part of what we're trying to do is is make sure that um, people have quality workflows that's know. cool 
Makes yeah, sense. we uh, we we it's been CDW where I work. We often have these customer advisory councils, you know, where you know we we send some beer to them if it's a Zoom session, or we meet at a local pub or bar and you know feed them a good meal, and then we'll have often uh, like a vendor come in and and really ask them hands on what is it that you need, and and I, and that's something that you know um, you know hopefully you talk to them offline and help you guys kind of just organize for yourselves. Or but that's really where I find you know when you get folks relaxed in a nice social environment, talking about the product, talking about the needs, um, those customer advisory. Um, um, you know, lunches, dinners, panels, really, they're, they're, they become so informal. They're like a little mini Seagraph session, right? Like a little birds of a feather of just eight or 10 people in a Zoom session. And that's another great way. So, um, you know, maybe maybe somebody out there wants to get involved with one of those, reach out to these guys, set up we'll set up always some little Zoom session. You guys can get out there and and and, uh, and really talk about the product and have a nice um, interactive session. Those are always really good when, for developing products. So. I appreciate all your guys' time. I'm so glad to see you on the floor. I just, every time I walked by there, I saw two or three people talking to me, folks. I could barely actually even uh, get, get to your attention a few times because you were so busy. So that's a great sign. Um, I know I talked to people who were visited your booth who definitely um, were interested in hearing more about the product. So I expect more out of IOGRAFT here in the next year. So we'll revisit it after next SeaGraft maybe and do a follow up on, on all the new packages and, and, and new pipelines and workflows that you guys have rolled out in the last year. So. Uh, I really appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks very much, Joe. We right. really, really appreciate you um, yeah. giving yes, us this opportunity. Yeah. It was great catching up with both of you there as well. Um, so thanks. Thanks.